Whoa, what it do? It's your man, Nico B, Black Effect. I want to go ahead and touch on this very quickly. I want to uh, talk to brothers, man, who will be who on the Internet. Stop trying to turn the Internet into the streets. You know, if you niggas not careful, y'all going to turn this Internet stuff into some straight up nigga shit. You seen how Takeoff lost his life in uh, uh, you see how Takeoff lost his life in Houston, bro. You know, do I what I want to ask is, do y'all want some of like, do y'all want to create that energy on the off YouTube, you know, where you guys are? Because recently I just saw her son Campbell try to chime in on the J Prince situation. First of all, brother, why are you even speaking really her son? Like, I don't I'm not like these other people. I enjoy some of the things her son does, bro. But I don't know who you think you are, bro. You know what I mean? Like, no man is 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 the Terminator. So we don't even know you, bro. We don't even know you for doing nothing except the African Bambada stuff. You know what I'm saying? Niggas know you for getting touched on. And I'm not saying that was your fault. But people know you for that. I guarantee you, that's what people know you for, bro. They don't know you for being no super street cat or and whatever. Like, any nigga, like a 13-year-old can, can pull a trigger. 12-year-old, 11-year-old, 10-year-old. Like, that's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't know you for like knocking niggas out. I ain't seen you like strap a nigga and I ain't seen you like get down on your handles with the hands. I ain't never saw that. So I don't know why, you know, you in a you talking about slapping people fro, bro. I guarantee you, bro, you won't slap J Prince, bro. I guarantee you this, nigga, you won't slap me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not J Prince. And I'm in Dallas, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Dallas niggas don't play games, bro. Like, we more laid back with the player stuff. J Prince reach don't come this far, you know, but we got a lot of love for J Prince. You know what I'm saying? Texas people, of course, you know what I'm saying? We got love. But, you know, you're not finna come down here and put your hands on nobody. Like, what kind of crazy? People need to stop doing that, bro. Like, YouTube shouldn't be allowing that. Like, this is why I be saying, bro, I see what y'all be doing. Y'all got some agenda and shit. YouTube got an agenda. They wanna, they'll put who, who, uh, they'll put a lot of foolishness, but then you, you do one video, oh, copyright strike. You do one video, oh, oh, flagging for this, flagging for that. These niggas is literally on her with axes and stuff, talking about inciting violence, bro. You know, and on the video I was watching, it was a guy saying that he would give Hassan Campbell 50 bands, $50,000 to come to Texas and slap Jay Prince physically assault Jay Prince. He said that he'll point out, the dude said he'll drop the dime and show the niggas, show her son where Jay Prince is at. Bro, y'all niggas gotta stop playing, bro, with y'all lives, my nigga. Like, and I'm not saying everybody is, you know, is going, like, I'm not saying Jay Prince gonna do nothing, but dog, you messing with some real, like, on this, on these YouTube streets or whatever, like, y'all turning YouTube, YouTube streets was a pun, but see, now you turning this into a real, like, really turning YouTube into the streets, and that's foolish, like, that's what niggas come do, come mess up the bag and mess up a good thing by bringing nigga shit into it, man, get that out of here, bro, we ain't messing with that, we ain't with you, like, don't, don't group me, don't put my videos in their algorithm, because it's gonna be a rude awakening coming for that. You know, a lot of you niggas who making bubbly thinking oh, <laughs> on the internet think y'all shit gonna be done like that because you inciting too much violence, bro. Like this ain't rap. Like rap shit. Like you talking, you talking directly to niggas. See, rap was an art form where niggas could play with it and flip it. And flip. You directly talking to niggas. You said you a slap J Prince. You called him a piece of something. You called him a piece of shit or something. You know, I, I think of some niggas like f his mother or something like that. Like niggas talking, talk, doing all this. This is all you doing. I hate, I, I like, I don't, real men don't do none of this. You don't tell niggas what you're going to do, when you going to do it, nigga. When you see me, just know you're going to be in the afterlife. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's like that, or, you know, or if it ain't, usually, like, again, for me, bro, the situation, I don't hate no man that much to take his life. You know what I'm saying? But in a situation where I have to defend myself or my loved ones, bro, it's DEFCON 50, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's how we get down in Texas, bro. I, I, I don't know. Like, every, it's a ghetto everywhere. It's a nigga in New York who real, real as shit. It's a nigga in Michigan who real as they come. And real is not being stupid. Real is not going to shoot an old lady or just shooting in the script. That ain't real, nigga. What you talking about? 
You know what I'm saying? That's why Dallas then got some real ones out here because we don't believe in none of that. We God-fearing men out here. And with the protection of the Most High God himself, you know, I send you straight to the afterlife where you need to go. Now, with that being said, I don't un everybody needs to stop this foolishness. I'm not talking about nobody specific again. I don't want to have to ever commit a 187 or put nobody in the ground. Like I say, it's not that crucial. If a nigga want to see me, forget your homeboy. If you don't like me or you got a problem, forget your homeboys. Don't try to get put them in front of you. Don't try to go put another nigga. Oh, I got killers over. Here. No, nigga. You see me one deep. Me and you, we meet in the streets, man, and we'll solve it there. I don't even want to hurt you. Do whatever you want. Bring what you We, Me and you, one deep, though. Me and you, just meet. Nobody else. Just And we solve it. I bet you we'll have a come to Jesus meeting. And we'll probably end up, you know, being friends. And after that, you will, we'll have a better understanding after that. I'm not trying to kill you. Like I said, I'll regulate niggas with these right here off the top anytime. But don't get me wrong. Like I said, if a nigga take it there, I'm not going to be talking about it. I ain't going to be talking about what I'm going to do. You take it to that level. Just know, bro, I'm going to meet you with, you know, with deadly force as well. Now, back to her son and um, Jay Prince, bro. Her son. Bro, please just stop, bro. Like, I don't know. You trying to prove something. You are. You're trying to prove something because niggas was talking about you getting molested, bro. You know, and I know that's and, and forget what niggas talking about. I know as a man that can hurt. I know that as a man that can like you could feel like somebody took something from you, bro. You understand? But give that to Jesus Christ, bro. Quit talking like, you know, don't ruin what you got built over this. Because I guarantee because I'm going to give you this. In this scenario, you think you're going to take 50 G's. This And this is just me. Like, I'm not. I don't even have the resources that Jay Prince have. If I caught wind of a nigga online and the dude who was uh, talking about he was going to uh, line uh, Jay Prince up and give her son the 50 G's, bruh, <laughs> you tripping. Because if that was the case, if it was real like that and I caught wind of a nigga talking like that, I would see who the dude was online who was offering the 50 bands and be like, all right, and I tell my whole team to tool up. I'll be tooled up. You will never know where I'm at. Nigga, I'll be somewhere where you don't even know. You know, my house, my house will be vacant. You can come shoot them up. You don't even know. But I'm going to be on your ass. And the first nigga to get, to get it is going to be the dude who line me up. The 50 bands nigga. We going to... I'm going to scrape him, you know, and then we find, her, you know, the, dude, the other nigga who looking for me and I let him find me. And once you find me, bro, I'm going to scrape you. I'm not going to even ask no questions. I'm just going to blame you because you said I'm is I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you approach me hostily and I'm going to just blame you. That's it. Case closed. End it. Because you two are being knuckleheads. You're going out looking for trouble. Usually when you look for trouble, you find it quickly. When you play in the devil's field, it's not a fair game. The devil got all the stuff rigged, third base rigged. He got ringers in the game. You lose. How do you think God is judging this, this situation? Jay Prince ain't got nothing to do with you. And you ain't got nothing to do with Jay Prince. You ain't from Texas. Keep what you got going on in New York. Why don't you regulate the little young niggas in New York who thugging and bugging go ahead and regulate them with all that energy hassan straight up regulate them with that energy bro go regulate the niggas in your hood who's thugging and like right down the street from you who's thugging and but go regulate them lost souls and children over there go regulate them th them they big homies over there go do that leave j prince alone you are clout chasing brother you're cloud tracing. I don't even, like I said, it ain't no Texas thing in the J. Because that's like I said, we're in Dallas. This isn't Houston. We got love for Jay Prince. But I didn't respect some of the things he did with the takeout situation. But in this situation, this ain't got nothing to do with you, her son. So this is for niggas. This ain't just for her son, bro. This is for, because I, I see it from a lot of dudes on the internet. Y'all be talking real greasy on the internet. But when you saw the Charleston White do the same thing and people who, who be talking to Charleston White talk greasy all over the Internet as a man. But when don't nothing happen, it's just a bunch of fluff. When don't nothing happen, you look horrible. So if you're going to be talking all greasy, then I'm expect you to just go splash splash a nigga like and, and get him up out of here, you know, and, and take whatever come with it. Just go embrace the darkness.
You know, go into life in prison, then go into the lower parts of the earth. After that, just start embracing the darkness. Otherwise, shut the hell up because we don't want to hear that. I like real ones don't. The people who, ugh, the, the little internet ge geeks and goose, they want to hear that stuff. And people who do the same thing because you see people all in your comments talking very greasy, saying what they do. Oh, yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah, this. Man, they wouldn't even raise. They got anxiety, man. They got uh, mental illnesses. They can't even talk to people. They stutter. They can't talk. If they saw you in person, they couldn't even get that sentence that they type it out. That's why they do it online. And look, man, it's not no knock to them. Look, I get it, bro. Well, it is a knock, but, you know, I don't wish them any harm. I don't. I really don't, man. It's nothing but love. But this here, bro, we can be doing some great things. Why don't niggas just be linking up? You know how many niggas can link and, and collab and really make some stuff happen? You know, I'm not saying that their son and Jay Prince are ever link up because I, like I said, y'all niggas in two walks of life. Y'all don't even know each other, bro. Y'all two two sides of the earth. Niggas don't, you know, niggas don't deal with one another, but it's this internet stuff, bro. But don't let this internet stuff get people hurt. Because I guarantee you, like I said, bro, in a scenario like this where somebody talking about, man, look, you put it on the internet. Look, I got 50 man for you to come straight, uh, come knock this dude out, man. I'm going to tell you where they at. I'm going to tell you, man, you don't know what Jay Prince and them doing. You don't know, you know what I'm saying? You don't know the goons this man. That nigga probably got goons watching your house, bro. You like you on YouTube. So I got 50 man, bro. Goons want that 50. Stop doing that. <laughs> don't put yourself like stupid niggas put they self on the bucket list you understand so with that being said it's your man nico b black effect let's get this money let's do these things um do the work for the lord let's do these great things on youtube we didn't have because see we didn't have big homies on youtube when i was growing up now you got big homies Brothers, grown men giving you wisdom and games so you can navigate and not hit the same pitfalls that we hit. Man, I almost lost my life in these streets. I, man, multiple times. I almost was playing, went to the penitentiary, playing penitentiary games. But see, the Lord had the hand on my shoulder. You know what I'm saying? Because I always was, you know, had praying grandparents. I always had in the back of my mind, there's certain things I won't do. But I was real with it. It was when I did, was out there thugging and bugging, I embraced the dark. You know what I'm saying? I could either die or go to jail. And this ain't got nothing to do with God. You know what I'm saying? So look, man, let's just just stop the foolishness. <laughs> okay. That being said, it's your man, Nico B. Black Effect. Gone.